Hi, welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of On This Day in Tudor History and a few other history books. I'm taking you back to the reign of King Edward VI today for On This Day in Tudor History, the 26th of February, 1552. Sir Thomas Arundel, Sir Michael Stanhope, Sir Miles Partridge and Sir Rafe Fane or Vane were executed. Arundel and Stanhope were beheaded on Tower Hill while Partridge and Fane were hanged. The men had been condemned as traitors after being accused of conspiring with Edward Seymour, Duke of Somerset and former Lord Protector against John Dudley, Duke of Northumberland. Edward Seymour, Duke of Somerset, had made himself Lord Protector shortly after the death of King Henry VIII in 1547, taking control of the young boy King Edward VI government. But there were tensions between him and John Dudley, Duke of Northumberland, in late 1549, and Somerset had taken the King to Windsor Castle and called on the English people to rise and defend the crown against those he saw as trying to depose him. He was branded a traitor, arrested and thrown into the Tower of London. Although he was released and pardoned in February 1550, he quarrelled again with the Duke of Northumberland and it was rumoured that he wanted to regain his former power and get rid of Northumberland. He was arrested once more, tried for treason in December 1551 and executed on the 22nd of January 1552. As for those who'd supported him, in his chronicle, John Stowe recorded, Upon Friday, being the 26th of February, one Sir Rafe of Fane, or Fane, and one Sir Miles Partridge were both hanged at the Tower Hill upon the gallows, and Sir Michael Stanhope and Sir Thomas Arundel were beheaded upon the scaffold there, all which four were condemned by virtue of the act of unlawful assemblies as accessories to the Duke of Somerset. Merchant tailor and citizen of London, Henry Machen, also recorded their executions in his diary. The 26th day of February, the which was the morrow after St Matthew's Day, was headed on the Tower Hill, Sir Michael Stanhope, Knight, and Sir Thomas Arundel, and incontinent was hanged the self-same Sir Rafe Avane, Knight, and Sir Miles Partridge, Knight of the Gallows, beside the dot dot dot, there's a bit missing in his diary, and after their bodies were put into diverse new coffins to be buried, and heads to the tower in cases, and there buried. Arundel's biographer Pamela Y. Stanton writes, During Somerset's protectorate, Arundel was not an ambitious power seeker. He was an intelligent and experienced politician with decades of proven loyalty to the Tudor crown. Though he had ample opportunity, there was no hint of a dangerously ambitious man. His loyalty to the king remained intact. However, he was embroiled in circumstances beyond his control and his political and religious status played against him in a struggle that he lost. All these men had served their monarch loyally. Arundel had served as a justice of the peace and was, as Stanton describes, one of the most experienced government officers in the country. Sir Michael Stanhope was Edward Seymour's brother-in-law and probably owed his rise at court to Seymour. He served Edward VI as Chief Gentleman of the Privy Chamber and had attended the King when Seymour had retreated to Windsor Castle with the King in 1549. Sir Miles Partridge had also been an active supporter of Somerset and contemporary historian John Stripe wrote of how he was little pitied since he was credited with the Duke's evil deeds. Vane or Fane was also a loyal supporter of Somerset. Their only crime, it seems, was supporting a man who'd now fallen from power and his enemy, the man now on the rise, the Duke of Northumberland, needed them gone. Stowe went on to say that all which four persons took on their death that they never offended against the King's Majesty nor against any of his council. It didn't matter. They were deemed traitors. Treacherous times. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 26th of February, 1564, poet and playwright Christopher Marlowe was baptised in Canterbury. And you can find out all about Marlowe in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. 
Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe by clicking that big subscribe button that's just there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live, which is every day. And you can also give me a like and leave me a comment. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.